Today's video is about Fusion's use of caching footage for increased playback and rendering performance. The first type of cache is RAM cache. It is displayed in the time ruler as a green underline. This represents the cache for the currently selected tool in the flow view. Fusion alters the cache priority of a tool based on a few factors, the first being whether or not a tool is currently viewed in the display. Second is the length of time a tool takes to render. The longer it takes to render, the higher the cache priority. We can manually alter the cache priority of a tool by right-clicking on it and choosing Modes Force Cache. This effectively sets it at the highest cache priority. The amount of RAM available to Fusion can be set under your Preferences, Globals, Memory Selection. This slider allows you to specify a percentage of your physical RAM for use in caching. Keep in mind that the amount of RAM available on your machine and the RAM required to render a given image may not allow you to cache everything you want. You can also purge your cache by right-clicking on the memory meter in the lower right of Fusion's interface and choosing Purge Cache. The second type of cache is Disk Cache. We can use this method to speed up specific branches of our composition or to simply to reduce the draw of footage across the network. To enable Disk Cache, Right-click on a tool, selecting Disk Cache, and you will be presented with a pop-up dialog. The first item in the dialog is the path where the images are to be stored on disk. This defaults to your temp path based on your Fusion Preferences path map, and contains the composition name as well as a unique date and timestamp. Although the file browser allows you to change the file type, it is recommended you use Fusion's RAW format to ensure that proxy settings, DOD, and color depth are maintained. The next few checkboxes allow you to lock the branch of tools upstream of the cache to node to prevent invalidation of the cache, as well as to cache files to prevent deletion of the files on closing the comp. Next we have the Use Network check, which will submit the comp to your network for rendering of the cache to your local disk when the pre-render button is selected. Lastly, there is the Delete Cache and Pre-Render buttons. Selecting the Pre-Render button will render the current render range to disk, either locally or over the farm if you have the Use Network check selected. If you wish your local workstation to fill the cache on disk as you work, you can choose the OK button. That concludes our quick rundown of the cache tools and abilities of Fusion 6.